Hey, what's going on, fellas? In this video, we're going to be checking out this little micro hydrogen burner that I built out of stainless steel. It was just a quick little test device to get a benchmark on how this stuff's going to behave with the air injection. Um, it didn't go well, as expected. Turns out we don't have enough air injection. So let's check this thing out, see what it can do with a couple thousand watts of electrolysis power. Okay, we're about 27 amps. I'm gonna turn on the air compressor. Okay, air compressor is on. And this is gonna be scary. Here we go. Jeez. As I figured, that got very exciting, very quick. And that was with a huge amount of air input. Now we discussed making this out of uh, like aluminum oxide or something, but uh, I just had to test some shapes out on stainless steel first. All right, Muhammad, so let's take another look at the shutdown sequence there when I tried to shut down the burner. Notice we hear an audible pop. That indicates that even though we had some air injection, we were still getting a subtle flashback. And I did see a small little flash right at the valve when I turned it off. So let's watch that clip again and listen for the pop when I turn off the valve. And the reason why you see me frantically turning it off and on is because you can't just turn that off valve off and leave it off when the cell's running. I didn't have time to run turn the cell off. So I thought I was going to be slick and just turn it off real quick like I do the torch. I can turn the switch real fast on and off and the flame will go out. Well, when you got white hot steel involved, that doesn't work out. So we had to deal with that, but nonetheless, um, let's listen to this clip. There's quite a bit of air being injected into this thing and we still got a subtle flashback. So I'm going to find out what the flow rate of that pump was, but it seems to me like we're going to need a, probably like a 50-50 mix of air before we start suppressing flashbacks wasn't a real hard detonation like you would typically see but nonetheless there's an audible pop so let's watch that clip again with flashback in mind Shit. Even with this huge air injection, watch the flashback here. Right about, there it is. So you can clearly see flashback, even with that much air injection. See the bright color? And then here it is without. Definitely a dimmer color. So in the next test, we'll probably just do a surface burner with no combustion chamber at all. We don't really need it. We just need to slow down the velocity of that gas a little bit. I think I'm going to have to get a double cylinder air compressor to give us the amount of air we want. Pretty sure you said you wanted 15%. I think we're past that a little bit, but I feel like we want a little bit more air. This flame's just too destructive. It's going to destroy everything it hits. So either we need a good flame target or some type of uh, high temperature ceramics, which I don't trust. 
I think for the most part, we're just going to go with the combustion chamber free burner system. The surface burner, whatever they call that, I believe it's what it's called, but kind of like an oxyacetylene torch, but with a rosebud effect to it.